Hi, I'm Dr. Rod Shaw, and I'm on a mission to help teachers make math irresistible for kids. I am always looking for small changes you can make to get big wins in the classroom. And what I have for you today is a really cool little magic trick that focuses in on addition. So this is great for first, second, third grade, maybe even fourth or fifth grade if you really want to dive deep into how it works and some of the extensions. Okay. Now, first of all, I am a big believer in making sure that every single time I walk into a math class, we start with something that gets kids curious. And a great way to get kids curious is to use magic or surprise. Because once you've been surprised, you want to know how it works. And that means you're going to lean in and do the math that I want you to do. So here's a magic trick. I'm going to share with you how it works so you can pull it off in your own classroom. You want to make a 4x4 four four grid like this and number it 1 through 16 as I have here. Then you're going to tell the students, look, I'm going to let you pick four numbers from this list and I am going to predict the sum of those four numbers right now before you've even selected your numbers. Yeah, I know, sounds crazy. Then you get a piece of paper, you write down this magic number, crumple it up, hand it to a student for safekeeping so everybody knows you can't change it. But then you want to pick a volunteer. Have that student choose a number in the first row. Let's suppose they choose the number two. Then have them cross out all the other numbers in the first row and all the numbers in the column with the two. Those numbers may not be chosen in the future. Then. Have them shift to the second row and pick a number that is not crossed out from the second row. Maybe they choose seven. Again, we cross out everything in the same row and the same column as the seven. Move to the third row and repeat. And finally, fourth row, pick a number in the fourth row. Only one choice. Bam. Now have that student add up the numbers. If you're a little worried, have another student check their work because the magic trick is sad if they don't add up correctly. Once they have it added up correctly, then you can grab your crumpled up piece of paper, have the student reveal their sum, and then you reveal your prediction, which of course is correct. They said 34 and you wrote 34. You got it right. Kids should be impressed. Some of them will be skeptical and they'll have questions. How does it work? Does it always work? You must have known. Did you? They want to know. That's exactly what you want. Now they're leaning in. Then a natural question is, well, what if we pick four different numbers? Well, yeah, go off, work with your friends, write down this chart, pick four different numbers. Make sure you're always picking one in each row. Sorry, one in each column, one in each row. Never duplicating a row or a column. Otherwise, it won't work. And they'll start to notice that, wow, it doesn't matter what we pick. We always get 34. That's crazy. So then they can explore that. And then finally, they'll want to know, well, why 34? I don't know. What do you notice about the numbers up there? Kids will often notice that the diagonal adds up to 34. It does. This other diagonal adds up to 34. Of course they do, because in each case, you have one number in each row and each column. But from there, they might be able to start figuring out why this thing works. I think it's easiest to maybe think about if you pick the diagonal, 1, 6, 11, and 16, what would happen if you chose to move one of them? Maybe I don't want the 11 anymore. I want to shift it over to the 10. Well, if I pick the 10, I can't have the 6 because I can't have two numbers in the same row and column. i got to move that over to the 7. So in a way, they move like this. And you might notice that it kind of balances out. I lose one in one row, but I gain one in the other row. My sum stays the same. So kids can notice that by the end of a period, they will have figured out how this magic trick works, which is super exciting for them because then they can go home and fool their friends or their parents or their guardians or whatever it is. Really fun little math trick. Gets kids excited about doing arithmetic. You're doing a lot of addition when you do this problem. And it lends itself to a lot of extensions. I mean, what about a 5 by 5 grid? Will it still work? Will the sum be the same? 
Will it be different? If so, what is the new sum? What is the new magic sum? What if I did a three by three? What if instead of numbering them from one to 16, I numbered them, I don't know, counting by fives, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and so on. Would it still work? If it does, what's the magic sum now? How does that magic sum relate to the 34 that was the original magic sum? So much good math here that you can do. Hopefully you love this magic trick as much as I do, and you will amaze your kids. It's really fun when you do it. Uh, and if you see the value in things like this, then I would ask you to do three things. Number one, please share this with all your teacher friends so they can leverage these ideas as well. Number two, if you haven't already, make sure you click subscribe so you can get more of my videos. And number three, again, if you haven't already, visit my website, drrajshaw.com. You can download my five favorite math problems and check out my TED Talk. I would love for you to do that. And until next time, here's to making math irresistible for kids.